We use a torque wrench to tighten and seal the flares up against the service valves of mini split systems and also at the connection at the indoor head units. And so that's for holding in the refrigerant pressure of a mini split system. And so we would just set our torque wrench to the value needed by the manufacturer. In this case, we have it set at 11.1 .1 foot pounds and we would use the adjustable head to tighten onto the flare nut and use an adjustable wrench on the flare adapter. And as we tighten, the beeping noise is going to increase until it's a steady beep telling us we've reached our torque value. And that's really important because we wanna make sure to not over tighten these flare connections and we want them to seal and not leak or, or anything. We don't want to crush the flare. We don't wanna have it too loose in order to maintain a good seal for a long time. I wanna go over some of the specifics on this torque wrench and this is a Navac NTW1. And so we just press the C to turn it on and then you're gonna see the torque value it's set at. This is mode one and we can just go right through the modes, mode two, mode three. So each one of these you'd set for a different size tube. And so maybe this is a three eighths and then you'd have this for half inch and then this would be for three quarter. And so on this one, you can see I never did set these ones right here for the last four. Now we go back to here and you can adjust the um, units right here. And so you can see we're typically using Newton meters. So this is 15 Newton meters for say a quarter inch tube, uh, or you have 11.1 .1 foot pounds. And so you can also change that. And so whatever you change it to, it's just going to keep it at that value with this particular tool. And so if we kept this at 11.2 and we move this one up and we change this to 18.5, we just leave it just like that. You don't have to save it. You don't have to do anything. And in this case, it's going to shut off after about five minutes and, and that's it. So because we need different torque values based on the line set diameter, you could have all those already preset into this tool. And because manufacturers differ with their torque values, you could technically have two different manufacturers, torque values all set in this tool ready to go.